Hello and welcome to Hacks. We are doing another Port Swigger Web Security Academy SQL Injection Lab today. Um, this one is the lab titled SQL Injection Attack Querying the Database Type and Version on MySQL and Microsoft Databases. So if we open that in a new tab and turn off Intruder, Intruder, Intercept. So, SQL injection attack querying the database type and version on a MySQL and Microsoft databases. This lab contains an SQL injection vulnerability in the product category filter. You can use a union attack to retrieve the results from an injected query. To solve the lab, display the version string. Fair enough, let's open the lab and take a look. So it's the same application we've seen everywhere so far where it looks like there's going to be two columns, one for text, one for the title, and there should be a vulnerability in this product category filter here. So that's the parameter, that's the values. So if we head over to burp and turn intercept on, and then we click on accessories, we should get that come up. And we can just send that to repeater. Then once we're in repeater, we can find out whether it's vulnerable first of all. So we send that and we should get a 500 error, as you would expect. And now we can start structuring our syntax to identify how many columns there are and which of those columns support text and then which of those we can use to retrieve the version number. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a plus union plus select plus null and then we're going to comment it out. Okay, as expected, we get a 500 internal server error. So what we can do now is we can add another null onto it and hit send. And we're still getting a 500 server error. Interesting. So I will put another null there and comment that out. Hmm, maybe it's not liking the way we're commenting it out. Um, let's try hash because I'm fairly sure that there is only two columns. Bingo. So instead of the uh, hyphen hyphen for the comment, we have to use a hash. So now let's verify which ones support text. Again, I think this is going to be pretty easy. We just get a 200 on that one. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do the same for the next one. Send that. Yeah, so they both support text as suspected. So what we can do now is we can request the version. So we do our union select and then we need to do instead of a string, we need to do uh, uh, version and send that. That says 200 OK and we should get our response back in the browser. Let me, because it's probably expecting a null here. I mean, their labs can be quite specific. Send that. There we go, so that solved the lab. I don't see the version pop up though. I'm just gonna grab that a second and append it to what we already had, yeah. Forward, forward, forward. Let's bring up the browser. Protocol error. Well, I messed that up somewhere, didn't I? Um, okay, so this should have the output on here, but it doesn't, which is interesting. So this is the solved lab. Let's turn intercept back on. Oops. And let's 
go to accessories. So we escape the syntax. Sorry, I keep putting my hand in front of my mouth. And then we do our union select plus version null, and then we comment it out. We forward that. We get a protocol error. Interesting. Huh. Maybe it's because we've already solved it. But either way, we have solved the lab. Um, and you've seen this correct syntax because we've still got it in repeater. But it's just not showing it anywhere in the results, which is odd. Oh, hang on, is that there? 8.0. Point two eight. Does that actually render on a page? I don't think it does. Okay, well it's there in the source, which I'm assuming that is the version 8.028. So that's it. That's how you solve the lab. Bit of a messy one, that one. I'm a bit, yeah, a bit rusty. But yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope it helps you solved it. And kind regards.